Hey, what's up everyone? PK here. Welcome to another episode. So today we're going to go try to catch some stock trout. And we are here at Hills Creek. And this, uh, this boat ramp is called CT Beach. And see, I got Lynn with me right over there. He is setting up our trolling motor. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to troll along and hopefully catch some trout. Weather-wise, uh, it's supposed to be a calm day, wind, um, probably about 8 miles per hour, but it's not supposed to pick up until later in the morning. Um, it's going to be cloudy today, which is fine, and just looking at the lake, it's pretty calm right there. No wind at all, and right now we're just going to set up really quick and launch our boat. All right, enjoy the show. Hey, they're jumping. Good. There's one. So there's a sign of life in here. Pretty awesome. Look at that gorgeous lake, guys. Very, very cool. I should have read the sign. The sign says, no fee required at this time. Perfect, huh? So I'm gonna try to get my, <laughs> when I go back, I'm gonna try to get my money back. Okay, back up, go ahead. If you guys want to catch trout, Hills Creek Reservoir is a good lake and ODFW stocks the lake yearly with rainbow trout. And there are three boat ramps and only one, which is Packer Creek Boat Ramp, is accessible year round. The lake is located in Oak Ridge and that's on Highway 58 and it's about one hour from Eugene. And here is a short time lapse of the lake and as you can see it's quite beautiful it's surrounded by mountains and uh, the cloud formation is pretty awesome and on a calm day you can see the reflection of the mountain in the water it's just really nice the best time to come here is definitely during the summer because that's when the reservoir is filled with water when you come here you can fish from the bank or you can do what I do which is just troll and I like trolling because it lets me cover more water and my trolling setup is pretty simple. I just have a flasher and a lure, that's it. And I don't put any weight on it. These trout aren't very deep. They like to stay near the surface. This lake also has bass and crappies. And for the crappies, you want to just fish near the bridges. And there are two bridges on this lake. All right, folks, I'm going to show you my setup really quick. So I have a uh, flasher right here. And that's, that, that flasher is going to wobble. It's going to give my bait more action. I have the leader on here, the four pound test leader, and it's about probably 13, 14 inches from the flasher right there. Okay, so I'm going to set this in the back. Lynn, you're just using a Rapala. Rapala. He has no flasher on there, Go which on is fine. Color. He's got what scent on there? Oh, I've got earthworm scent and it's a crawdad color. Okay, so crawdad color Rapala, and he's got the earthworm scent. For my scent, I am going to use, I just had it. For my scent, I'm going to use the Garlic Plus. I'm going to put it on both the flasher and my lure. This lure here, um, I just made it myself. It's pretty simple. You got two hooks and then two beads and a spin glow. That's about it. I'm going to set out my line about 70 foot back. Lynn is at 50 foot. I just want to give it a different... Um, distance from the back to see which one works best. So I just reset. Why did I reset my counter? Because I'm old and senile. <laughs> so that was 44. We'll leave it like that. With that guy wobbling pretty good. So one more. Now I have a two rod permit, so I'm going to set up my second rod. Oh, there's a hit already. You got him. Oh, yeah, that was fast. <laughs> Woo. That was so fast, man. On the homemade lure. Wow, look at him shake. Yes, sir. I didn't bring a net with me. That was really quick. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we are allowed five trout. Let's see what he is. 
He's not a kokanee, that's for sure, because they're the kokanees are deep. I know this guy's a pellet head. Oh, he's a good size. Yeah, he's good size. There we go. Nice looking trout. How is he hooked? That's a nice. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, right there. Woo. That's a nice, beautiful trout right there, folks. All right, there we go, folks. First fish of the day is pretty awesome. Right there, rainbow trout. And this guy was not coming off. He's got both hooks on there. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty, that's a good hook set. So that's on the homemade lure, garlic plus. All right, right there. I bonked the heck out of him. That's why his eyes are popping out. Cool, so first fish of the day and about less than five minutes in. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, folks, while we are trolling, I want to give you a shot of this lake. This is Hills Creek, as I told you. It's a very, very beautiful lake. One of my favorite lakes, very, very scenic. So just check this out. Look how nice that is. This is the same lake that I have the splash photo for my channel, okay? And the photo that I took was up this creek right over here. And there's a bridge over there. That's where I took the picture. I like how we're out here. It's just, it's quite peaceful. Even in the summertime, it's peaceful. Yeah, even during the summertime. There's one camping ground over there called Packard Creek. But here, man, this is just so nice. You can't ask for a better day, no wind at all. We're coming on kind of shallow here. So I'm gonna move us out a little bit. How deep are we? We are at 17. Yeah, so I'm gonna swing that way and I'm, I'm gonna go around towards that over there. The update is we got one in the boat. Lynn had one on, but he spit the hook out. And we're, uh, we had a pretty good start. <laughs> I mean, they, they're jumping everywhere. They're just not biting. Yeah, makes for very poor soup. Yeah. So I'm hoping to cook something on the boat. The first catch and cook on this boat. But so far, we got one fish, which is fine. We can still cook with it, but hopefully we can get a couple more. Oh, no. Sucker jumped. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Okay. <laughs> yes. You took off the grub? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put this one. Yeah. All right, after we got that first one on, the, on that lure right there, this one, Lynn is going to switch to the garlic scent and a Z-Ray. So we took off the, the Rapala and that Z-Ray has a, a, it's a nickel, so it's going to give it more um, flash to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lather that up. That's it right there. So I'm going to lather that up again, just like that. All right, I'm going back out there yeah I was about 70 feet to the back hold on I gotta change my GoPro battery yeah and they like to come out at night yeah whoa you got one he's on there or he was hitting it Ooh. He was just a hammering. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, we're just doing this. I can't believe he got off of there. Two hooks, man. What's going on with this one? I hope it's still running. I hope it's still running. All right, well, yeah, that's a good hit. I'm going to go inside. Oh, there it is. There's a fish. Woo. Now he is on. He is on that time. So low battery. Oh, my goodness. Fish on, and we got a low. Let's see if we can land this fish before the battery runs out. <laughs> see, 
There we go, folks. Trout number two, once again on that homemade lure. It's pretty simple. This is such a simple lure when you think about it. It's just two it beads. Really simple. I might have to make it and sell it. Do it with a smaller spoon. Yeah. Sweet. Boy, man, that wobble action is crazy good. Mm -hmm. This big spoon, I might have to buy more. It might be the color, the blue and the white. It could be. Or the blue and the silver. It could be, I don't know. It, this is a good combination. This is the same, this is the same setup I used at Detroit for. All right, guys, so the bite has kind of slowed down a little bit. We've been getting hits once in a few while. Nothing really, you know, good, but um, we're trolling here and let me show you our setup for our motor. Now I have a 16 foot boat, so I don't have a gas trolling motor. Um, it doesn't really take much to push a boat. Oh, there's a hit. See it? Like they would hit it and then just kind of come off. <laughs> and, oh, there it is. He's on. <laughs> He's on. Oh, hold this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he on? I think so. Oh, I think he's off. Is he? Oh, he's off. Dang oh, it. no. Yeah, he's off. Shoot. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to reel it back in. We'll put it back out of there. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. We'll put it back out there. I was about maybe, see, I was 90, 90 foot. We'll go, we'll go 90. But anyways, it doesn't really take much to push a 16 foot boat. So I have an electric motor. It is a Minn Kota, I think it's called a Duramax 40. The 40 just means 40 pound thrust. And to power it, I have a 12 volt battery. And the size for that battery is a 27. It's pretty heavy. He's a big bad. Yeah. I'm like breathing heavily and huffing and puffing when I pick up that battery because it's heavy. Right here. That's the that's that battery right there. And that's the trolling motor. I really like this motor a lot. It doesn't use a lot of battery. Um, it's very efficient. It's quiet. That's the thing I like. I don't like gas trolling motors because they they make a lot of noise. Fumes. Yeah, and the fumes. I don't like the, the exhaust. It gives me a headache. So yeah, the uh, setup is pretty simple. Boy, man. Do you have any different color honeyworms? Uh, no, that's it. Just the chartreuse or the green? Yeah. Or I, yellow? That, that's my favorite color. It's the one color that produces the most, so I don't normally buy other ones. That's true. Those come in handy for crappie too. Like I said, I'm stubborn. I use the one that works. <laughs> Why do you think I still have the same tackle after 50 years? Yep. There we go. That's the speed we want. I'm going to let this out first. He's shy. He doesn't know what he wants. Don't be so indecisive. Just take the damn lure. There he goes. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, hold up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he's on. Okay. Fish on, folks. Another, oh, you almost had one on that one. Oh, <laughs> that would be it, awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to clean fish. <laughs> Steer the boat. Steer the boat. <laughs> Let out my line. You see that right there? I don't know. My other GoPro doesn't work, so I can't. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, that is a nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, God. Look at the color. Of oh, that. there's another one. I got... Oh, <laughs> this is number five. This is fish number five. Oh, don't come off. Oh, that's a beauty. Got to steer the boat. Oh, oh it came right off. <laughs> Dang it. That's okay. We got a good one here. That is a good one. Okay, calm down. Hey, 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 hey. No fighting in my boat, man. Must have went through a little spot where they were at. 
Yep. Okay, this one's off. Here we go. Ooh, that's about 15, 16. Yeah. So where's our whacker? Boy, these guys are more acrobatic in the boat. These are holdovers too. Yep. All right, there we go. This is number four for me. Working my way to my limit. Right there, folks. Wow, pretty wild and frenzy. <laughs> Time to get crazy for a minute. I promise I will get to cleaning that fish. <laughs> but this is, this is pretty fun, though. Yeah, that one hammered that rooster tail. Yeah. His size, I think it's 1 16th ounce rooster tail. Let me put this one out first. I need one more to get my limit. And then we work on mine. And then we need five more for you. At my rate, you're going to have all five for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're giving me my limit first, and then they're going to give it to you. Yep. Yeah, they, these fish are very orderly. They know their priorities. <laughs> One person at a time. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna clean this first trout that we caught. And to clean it, I always start off, I'm gonna cut the tail off, and I'm gonna use scissors. Just like that. And then the anal fin, and then these fins back here, and the pectoral fin. Now it's flightless. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dorsal fin. And now it's got no fins that can't fly away. <laughs> go through the bottom. Go all the way up like that. Okay. When you get there, we're going to cut straight behind the gill plate. Okay. There. On this side, same thing. Okay. Now you want to sever that um, bone, the backbone right here behind his neck. Okay. Now we're just going to pull out the guts just like that. Simple and easy. Yep, very oh, simple, very go. easy. Oh, he just, Lynn just had a hit. He okay. hammered that thing. Okay. All right, folks, there is our fish. And I'm going to marinate it with this Lari seasoning salt. Alright folks, I am going to set up my stove. Let me show you the stove we're going to use. This is a portable smoker. Now, have you seen me use this portable stove in my previous catch and cook? It's pretty awesome. And you can use it for any type of heat source. Okay. So the lid comes off, and you have the grill inside. There's a grill, and there's the uh, ash plate, and it's kind of dark black, but that just means I went through a lot of good adventures right there. So that's it. So we're gonna put this plate on the bottom, and then we'll put the grill on the top, and then we're gonna put the fish right on top of that grill. Actually, I forgot one thing. On the bottom here, I'm going to put some wood. These are apple wood. And we're going to smoke the fish. I think one or two should be good enough. It doesn't really take much to smoke these fish. And there's going to be my heat source. This is the portable Coleman uh, top stove. There's my gas, my propane gas, and that's going to go right on the top. You just screw it right on. It's pretty simple. Make sure it's off first. Smells good and garlicky. Yeah. Woo. Okay. So there's my tank and the stove, and it's gonna fit in the footrest just like that. It's a very good stove, very portable. And for the small size, it gives out quite a bit of BTU. I think it has what? 10,000 BTU. Okay, the wood chip is on the bottom. And in goes the fish. 
There we go. Close the lid. You don't want to close this all the way. You want to leave the lid slightly ajar, just like that. You can tell those weren't hatchery fish because of the way they fought. Yep. Pretty hard. And I use that for a dip and damn it, that was a crush. Hmm. All right, folks, the fish is done, so we're gonna eat it up and wrap up this day. All right, there we go. Burnt tail, burnt trout tail. Fish jerky. Hmm. That's good. Mm hmm. Hmm. The good thing about trout is the bone is soft. Except for the rib bone. Except for the rib bone, yeah. And you can just chew them up. Mm. Man, this is it. Fresh fish. Awesome scenery. It's a lot of fun out here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get any better. Only thing missing is a beer. True. And what's my favorite beer? Corona. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Folks, if you never tried this, you have to give it a shot. Life's too short. You gotta get out there and enjoy it. You're fishing off the shore, make a campfire and cook them right there. Yeah. There's nothing like fresh cooked trout. Oh man, here we go. One of the cool things about trout is like the bone just come right off the meat. Mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Just like that. I'm gonna end it right here. One more bite. That's ideally if you could do that every time you went fishing. Yeah, that was fun. We could do that out in Depot Bay or in Coos Bay if the weather was no yeah. wind. If there's no wind, we could easily do it like but a... We could actually do it down on the floor like you did the last part. Of yeah, because this uh, down here, it's going to shield it from the wind. It'll mm -hmm. be perfect. Man, cooking on this. This is the, the first catch and cook on this boat. Thank you, Lynn. You betcha. Thank you for taking me. Yeah, that was fun. Well, folks, we're going to end it here. We had a lot of fun here at Hills Creek Reservoir in Oak Ridge, Oregon. Catching trout, cooking trout, enjoying this awesome, awesome scenery. Beautiful weather. Awesome fishing partner. We've been doing this for, what? 20 years. 20 years, man. 20 years ago. Let's see, the first time you took me fishing was... Long it the long tom <laughs> and then you took me to the freeway pond in albany yep. and in your inflatable raft that's when i caught my first bass on an ultralight on a trout rod and man i was hooked bass fishing ever since then i just want to catch bass i pretty much got rid of all of my trout gear <laughs> <laughs> had to rebuy it yeah and, and then i rebought it but that first bass was awesome. Under the freeway bridge. I-5. So that was cool. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Had a lot of adventure together. <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> the old station wagon I had. <laughs> yeah. And then we still got a long ways to go, too. Oh, yeah. I don't figure on giving up too much in the future. <laughs> yep. It's a long time. Okay, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And whatever you do, be safe. Have fun. Tie lines.